So what do I look for? As we have discussed, there are so many things that we can measure and monitor. It is very hard to give meaning and significance to all of this as our coffee industry is always growing and changing. But let's explore some of the more important things that we should get into the habit of paying attention to. I will refrain from making statements and claims as to what impacts these potential factors have on your final cup. But many roasters find that these are great things to pay attention to, to help you make sense of what is happening and to hopefully to give you a sense of direction. Input weight. Input weight is the weight of the green coffee used. Charge temperature. Charge temperature is the starting temperature. This is not only for the internal temperature, but can and should apply to other temperatures that you can log. On the S7 Pro, the roaster will precisely hit a desired internal and drum temperature before you press start. Turning point. We mark this turning point as a point showing temperature and time. You can adjust the turning point by changing the charge temperature, amount of comfy input, initial heat settings, adjusting the environment's temperature and humidity, or changing the green coffee's properties. Drying phase. We record the time between the start of the roast to start of color change. Drying phase is an important phase where you can prepare the reactions that are about to happen during the yellowing phase by setting up the precursors uh, and physical pressure and the temperature of the beans. Peak ROR. During the drying phase, peak ROR usually occurs. We mark this with temperature and time. This can be an important information as it shows the point of roasting where the internal temperature is positively changing at the fastest rate. When you take note of the peak ROR, it may give you an idea as to your heat setting decisions to make to make sure that you are not going to the next phase too aggressively or too weakly to uh, resulting in stalling out. Color change. We mark this with temperature and time. Often roasters make their first significant heat change around this time. Yellowing phase. We record the time between the start of the color change to start of first crack. Simply put, very important and complex compounds that affect uh, flavor and aroma develop in this phase. First crack. We mark this with temperature and time. Please note that as moisture is released during this phase, you may notice a drop in internal temperature. It is up to you to infer as to whether the drop was caused by the moisture release only, or if there has been significant energy loss due to your heat settings. Development time. We mark this with number of seconds, and this is the time between the first crack and the end of the roast. Development time ratio percentage. We mark this as percent. This is a ratio between the development time over total roast time. End temperature. End temperature is the final internal air or bean temperature of the roast. End time. End time is the total duration of the roast. End weight. As 15% or more of the weight of coffee is lost each roast, we mark the final output weight of the coffee. Colors outside and inside. Measuring the color of the coffee outside and inside is a very powerful habit to have a more direct understanding of what is happening during the roast. There are many more things that you can measure and monitor depending on the equipment that you use 